Remember, the midpoint formula is this. When using the midpoint formula, you are given two points. For example, what is the midpoint between 2, 6 and 8, 4? So you pick one point, it does not matter which one, and you label it x1 and y1. The other point you label x2 and y2. Okay, this is the total program that I made in Python for the midpoint formula. x1 equals, we have an input function inside an integer function. This part of the code, the input function, will print out on the screen whatever is in between these quotation marks. Here it says enter x1. Then the user has to enter a response and then press the enter button. In Python, the input function will convert the user's response into a string variable. A string variable is text. We can't do math with text. This part of the code, the integer function, will convert the user's input into an integer, a number. We can do math with integers. Then, this equal sign will assign that integer to the variable x1. These other lines of code are similar, asking the user for the y1, x2, and y2. I am going to run this part of the program to show what it looks like. The two points we will use are 2, 6, and 8, 4. Press the Run button, which is the Trace button here. Enter x1, which is 2. Enter. Enter y1, which is 6. Enter. Enter x2, which is 8. Enter. Enter y2, which is 4. I will stop here because I do not want to run the rest of the program at this time. I will go back to the editor by pressing the trace button. The next two lines of code. This will calculate the x component of the midpoint and assign that value to xm. This line will calculate the y component of the midpoint and assign that value to ym. This is a divided by sign. Moving down to the rest of the code. The rest of the program consists of these five print statements. The first three print statements are used to just give the user a visual of the two points that you want to find the midpoint for. It is a visual way to check that you have entered the data correctly, and you will see how that works when we run the program. The other two print statements will give you the midpoint. Okay, let's run the program completely. We're going to do two different problems. First problem, what is the midpoint between these two points? 2 comma 6 and 8 comma 4. This will be x1, y1, and this will be x2, y2. Run the program by pressing the trace button. x1 is 2, enter. y1 is 6, enter. x2 is 8, enter. y2 is 4, enter. Here is the output. The two points are 2 comma 6 and 8 comma 4. The midpoint is 5 comma 5. That is correct. Next problem. Go back to the editor by pressing the trace button. Find the midpoint between these two points, negative 4 comma negative 6 and 3 comma 7. Run the program by pressing the trace button. X1 is negative 4. Make sure you use the negative sign here and not the minus sign. Enter. Y1 is negative 6. Enter. X2 is 3. Enter. Y2 is 7. Enter. The two points are these. And the midpoint of these two points is negative 0.5 or negative 1 half, comma, 0.5 or 1 half. And that is correct. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.